January 6th, the festival of the Epiphany. January 6th, unfortunately now has other associations, power, tyranny, uprising, violence. Now Epiphany is a joyful feast. The infant Jesus revealed to the nations, represented by the magi who come from the east to offer worship. Arise, shine, for your light has come, we will hear from Isaiah. Light for the world, salvation for all nations, hope for all people. We love Epiphany at this church. Children with stars on a stick, magi in costumes that process, and beloved new and old carols. Yet there are other associations too with Epiphany. An unsteady tyrant king threatened by the birth of a baby, known for his ruthless appetite for cruelty, domination, and violence, Herod kills all the infants under two around Bethlehem. This baby, this Christ will be scorned, rejected, crucified, and even in these birth stories, Jesus' death is foreshadowed. Consider the gifts, gold for a king, incense for a priest, and myrrh for one who will suffer and die. Now a few some of our carols name the harsh realities of life, the world in which Jesus was born, the world in which we live too. Nails, nails shall pierce him through, the cross be born for me, for you. Or in the most lovely text and tune of our next hymn, a stable lamp is lighted. This hymn juxtaposes the bright glow of the barn where Jesus was born with the evil rampant in the world. Hearts made hard by sin, God's love upon the spearhead, God's love refused again. But think about this, being warned, warned in a dream to go home another way, the Magi likely save the life of Jesus. By refusing to obey Herod, they engage in an act of divinely inspired disobedience. Today is also the Feast of Jesus' Baptism. And in the early church, Epiphany marked three revelations of Jesus to the Magi and all nations, at Jesus' baptism, and his first miracle of turning water to wine. So today, we have the joy of celebrating the sacrament of baptism for Vera, where she and we are named child of God. But there are other associations too. A cross marked on her brow and ours. We therefore stand against all forms of domination, all forms of violence, all forms of greed, all forms of racism. Like the Magi, we are called to be courageous. We are called to be bold as we live out our baptism and work for justice and peace in all the earth.